So that today we will uh, maybe learn Tonglen. You know, I will start with Tonglen. I think. So Tong means uh, breathe out, Len means breathe in. So it's an uh, exhaling and inhaling. Okay. <clears throat> so there are many ways of doing Tonglen. So, what we, uh, so um, <clears throat> Which one should I say? Usually, what I practice, maybe it's not appropriate for you too, but uh, <clears throat> simple way is you know, first you think about someone, you know, including animals, and then you take in the suffering and the causes of suffering, you know, and then you breathe in, you say. A lot of visualizations, you know, you breathe in, taking all the suffering. You know. If it's difficult, when you take the suffering, when it comes here, you know, comes, you know, and then it turns into light and it absorbs within your body. You know. uh, this is one way of doing just sometimes people very difficult you know, they do, you know just disappear into light like white and absorb your body you know you're feeling good and then when you breathe out you keep all your love compassion joy your skills your intelligence education knowledge you know wisdom all this you keep out in a form of light, white light, which make them see very, very happy, free from suffering, like that. You know? So you you can do like this, okay. And but what I do is you see you I imagine myself as big as the universe. No, huge. Then uh, you imagine all the sentient beings in front of you, and their suffering, the causes of suffering. Then I go one by one from hell, you know, different sufferings. Their hungry goes again. They have suffering. Human. Animals, human, damning God, got like six rams, you see. So you visualize and they're suffering. Then all their sufferings have causes. The main causes are the afflictions and the karma. And then uh, you see, and the karma, again, it comes from what we call the, uh, the karmic energy, which is like a kind of a black uh, kind of a, is it frost in a dark cloud or smoke in front of me see now the universe is just in front of me and then you breathe in the karmic all this in your karmic energy you know so which is the main cause of suffering so you take in everything and then <clears throat> it goes within your body and then you also have a lot of karma, so they become one, and then it expands all your body. You know, it feels the whole body, and you just think about the vision, you know, only thinking about breathing in lemba, you know. and you stay there, you know, you know breathe in and breathe out, no thinking, just taking the suffering, you know, and also the suffering in a form of dark smoke, you know, feeling cold. And then <clears throat> you 
yours also they become one, and then you suffer for that. You know? Every cell in your body, every pain, physical pain, every disorder you have, you experience it for the sake of all sentient beings. So, see, I did instead of it. Because one way of purifying karma is experience it. When you experience it, it purifies. So you experience the sentient beings karma Then through that it purifies you. Know? So you feel joy. I'm so lucky I'm able to experience the karma of all sentient beings. And you stay, you know, visualize. So I'm talking about all sentient beings, but you can start with the, each, you know, first start with your parents or children or relatives or friends and then your you know <clears throat> what do you call that pets etc you know? and then you can expand the the, 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 the number of uh, sentient beings to the entire it's up to you but I go with you know from hell like that and then you see you experience and you feel joy I'm doing this for the of century. But I do a very typical, what do call, I call it, I call the breathing, you know, breathe in all this. And I call it, breathe in. And I don't breathe. And then a lot of visualization you can do without breathing out. If you cannot, you can continue to breathe in and out. But you know, the visualization is should be there. So after some time, now you think that you visualize that now all the karmic energy, black karmic energy, mother lady mong siva, is somehow purified. Okay, like this. And then <clears throat> you also have so many good qualities, okay? So many good qualities you have. Now we change the visualization. What I do is I again breathe in and receive all the qual good qualities of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in a form of white light. I'm still breathing in, you know, inhaling. And again, I hold, and my whole body is filled with white energy, mixing with my own good merits that I've earned. Then it expands whole body. And stay there. What I do is I hold, I hold the breath. you continue to receive you know, what we call the pure wisdom energy. So it's all about taking in. First we take the impure karmic energy of all sentient beings and then you see we experience this experience it and then it purifies. Then again you take all the good pure wisdom energy and mixing with your own Merits. And after some time, now your body is filled, your whole energy is wisdom energy. You can visualize something like that. And then now you start to give. Then <clears throat> if you're thinking about you know individuals, you can breathe out you know, and say prayers mentally, like May you be happy, may you have 
happiness and causes of happiness, like the four immeasurables. May you be free from suffering and causes of suffering, it's like that, you know, the four immeasurables. So what I do is, I do the four lines in one breath, you know. So, then I just give. And mentally I say the prayers. And I do first, may all my, may all the old mother, such a being, have happiness and causes of happiness. I like this, you see the prayer, you know, breathe out naturally. And do this sometime, maybe three prayers. And I go with the help. Yeah, I think about the their suffering, and I breathe in and take the suffering, and I begin breathe out, and you know, sending light, and saying the same prayer. So I do it helping hungry folks, animals, humans, and demigods, and God like that. It's been maybe like 10 minutes of practice, Okay, like that. So it's very simple, but it's very, very powerful, you know. Okay, so any questions with Tonglen? There are many, many ways of doing Tonglen practices. Mm -hmm. um, so the Gila, it's mostly in the mind, right? Uh, there's two pieces of it. One is inhaling the positive energy, the, the uh, wisdom, compassion, and then exhaling okay. all the negative energy. And yeah. the, the other one is inhaling the suffering, the negative energy of other people, and then changing it inside, and then exhaling out um, the positive attitude, positive energy. Yes, you can do that, yeah. So it's all this is my... <clears throat> Yes. So it's all, you see, Tonglen is all visualization. Okay. So a lot of visualization. And, uh, you, you know, the important thing is, you know, see, first you visualize at this size, your human size, and then uh, you can take sufferings. But when you visualize as big as the universe itself, or like the bigger than solar system. Then you can see the earth here. Earth very small, so visualize. And there's so many sentient beings on earth. You know. And then they all suffer and they have causes. So the causes, so you should learn what are the causes. The main cause is what we call the impure karmic energy. So it's an energy, you know. So you, that in a form of like a dark cloud, you know. And then when you breathe in, the whole dark cloud, you know, goes inside you. But some people are afraid to do this, you know. Oh, I may get sick. <laughs> it, it's difficult. So what? So that's why there are many ways, you know. You can breathe in and when it reaches here, it either changes into white light and then absorb with it. You know? If you are afraid, and the purpose of this is it develops compassion for others, feel connected with others. Because it's not really you're visualizing this. I don't know if it actually has an effect on other people to help them. No, no, it's not about affecting other people. It affects you right. directly. Directly, you see, this technique is used to heal your diseases also. You can heal so many disorders very quickly you know, because then we learn about pain meditation, you know, yeah, before. So How now, do I feel, heal quickly. I just would yeah. really like yeah. to know the secret of that to heal something so yeah. quickly. I listen to the, the, the benefit, you see, but uh, don't do this just for the sake of your healing. Then uh, again, uh, not much benefit. You must actually feel that you are actually taking the suffering, you know. And then you feel 
loving kindness we learn with the compassion how to meditate you know and you should feel all this you know and then when you take it you see you really feel that you're taking it you know and we have so many problems you know and these problems now i suffer all this for the sake of all sentient beings so that makes very very powerful and it's a healing technique but if you okay i want to heal that's why i want to do pongen well it helps but you know it's selfish you know it, it doesn't work so in the age ngrasa uh, it uh, versus some mind training you see so i think it's on seventh i think in the seventh verse you can check this eight versus some mind training okay that's online i think on the seventh i think they talk about may i secretly uh on some and i remember chat may i secretly take the sufferings of others so that one is online practice usually you see you just sitting and nobody knows you are doing practicing this and his holiness dalai lama is doing this every day and he uh, said it many times you know and he said you see you know chinese people see they bring a lot of bad things to them you know so you see instead of feeling angry he takes all the suffering you know that makes him very calm compassionate loving you know okay you know uh, gela i've question cuz uh, from gela's experience man that when we say once uh, again cuz maybe we take the suffering the like other suffering uh, when we're suffering then you know this like how do you deal with it or how do you reason yourself that i want to do it because causing when i thought about it gela i think it's so wrong shehido it's like oh my god munerang do i really want to take all the suffering <laughs> <laughs> even though it's only mental i think it does affect i mean ultimately yes kachilana it it's about your own practice right? um, meaning like you're practicing the and uh, the attachment the kharina self grasping kajiti but like kela how do you deal with that no you practice first practice loving kindness mm. and compassion you must listen to the previous lesson mm. and you expand this to you know practice loving kindness first it's yourself and then you expand you now to several mm. and to many then then immeasurable in immeasurable number of uh, sentient beings then it becomes immeasurable then practice uh, compassion first with some and then try to uh, do immeasurable uh, immeasurable sentient beings so you listen to that and now tonglen you see if you are afraid then you take in another way is you see you think about buddha who suffered maybe his holiness in front and his holiness is surrounded by you see buddha and good sattvas did he so many and then you visualize him like i'll show you here what i do like this you see yes yeah so i i sit here this this is you know and then you see and then you take in the you see when you breathe in white light wisdom energy pure wisdom energy and which fills the whole body we learn also om ah hum practice before mm. yeah remember yeah. you can do that also when you breathe you know breathe in like om thing about this all this and then which feels so when you breathe out you see you breathe out oh black energy which are your sufferings physical sufferings diseases you know sadness everything going out and it disappears see 
disappears into thin air. You are afraid, then you do what we call the lower level of common practice. Because you are afraid to take <laughs> and you know. But it has a healing effect. You know? But actual toggling practice is not like actual toggling is to take the sufferings of others. You know? And we practice, you know, practice, practice, practice. You must make yourself brave. Okay, so you can read on Tonglen, you know, just write, give and take, and take practice in Buddhist. She said that this is really, you know, actually like, you know, because uh, a bath, you are staying in a, you know, in a very quiet place, you see, if they are like high mountains, you know, you can see the whole valley, you know, valley, 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 <laughs> and sit there and you see so many, you know, you sit there and visualize. And breathe in. When you breathe out, you can, you know, white light. You know, it's like feeling the whole valley you know, with happiness, loving kindness, compassion, joy, you know, like that. When you breathe in, you breathe in all the sufferings, possible suffering in the form of black smoke coming inside, you know. First, it will take time because visualization is difficult, but afterward, you can just, you know, you go to Tong Len in just like that. So first practice Tong Len, you know, and then visualize. And then again, give, practice give, giving, giving. And say the prayer mentally, like that, with one breath. You know. What is the prayer that you say? This is the four immeasurables. Four immeasurable prayers. You can, you know, type four immeasurable prayers and you will see four line, four, four line prayer. But I can send these to you after. Okay. Thank yeah. Okay, it's on that nowadays it's just <laughs> you will get it. <laughs> oh Chimmy, can you send it to me too? Yeah, I'll Thank send you. it to the uh mm -hmm. the distribution. Uh the you uh before that you can under the Jedi Mana Tony or like the Okay. Next agenda, Karada. So, any questions from Tonglen? No, I just have to practice. Okay. Okay, let's practice Tonglen for a few minutes, okay? Okay, spine loosely straight. Close your eyes. Relax your muscles. Breathe in and breathe out just now we visualize the object of refuge like your root lama or your personal deity like Tara and Shiri. All, all Buddhas and Buddhists are first in front of you. So when the image becomes quite vivid, if it doesn't, then you can open your eyes and watch the image. Now, close your eyes. Now, we take 
can proceed. The blessings of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the form of white light. So you bring in. You can breathe out, but continue to visualize that the light is filling your whole body like healing milk in a glass. Now your whole body is white, filled with white energy, white wisdom, pure wisdom. Let's continue. With this pure wisdom energy, think that it purifies all physical disorders, mental disorders, afflictive emotions. So when you breathe out now. Just coming out in the form of dark snow, disappearing in the space. Okay, now breathe out. Now you receive white, pure energy, and when you breathe out in the form of dark, dirty smoke. So we continue like seven times. Start. So this is one way. Now feel that you are completely free from all suffering, physical as well as emotional, mental suffering. The visualization doesn't come very quickly. So we practice, you know, one day it will just come very quickly, like that. So this is a uh, one way. Now again, you visualize yourself as big as bigger than the earth or as big as the universe. And then visualize the earth is just in front of you. In order to see the earth, see, use some pictures of earth taken from space. You can use that for vivid visualization. Now you see, Small earth has so many sense of things, wanting happiness, not one suffering, like yourself. Now I'm going to take all this suffering along with the causes. So the main cause is the impure karmic energy, Madhalegino. So and visualize that you see this dark black energy. So you, this is hard, but try this. So then you breathe in the dark energy. And 
hold that energy with him as long as you can. It mixes with your own karmic with your karmic energy. It feels the whole body. You cannot hold the breath if you come in within an hour, but you don't use the vibration. Are you going to suffer? You think about your disorders in the body, mental problems. You experience it. The way to purify karma is one way is to experience. So you experience it right now. Every cell in the body experience experiencing the the suffering of the several sentient beings. Now all sentient beings do not have suffering. What suffering for them? Now through suffering, through experiencing, it purifies, so visualize that all the darkness now become white. It's another way. And now your body is filled with white energy. Now then you breathe down and give it to the earth. Essential beings living on earth. Breathe out. So when you breathe out, breathe out, feeling the white energy going there on the earth. And then say the prayer manually. Like this pen you say manually. It's very slowly, you know, visualize the light, pure energy. Envelop, enveloping the whole earth and all the sentient beings living there. Coming happy, satisfied. Feel joy. Like this okay so this is a whole kind of a lot of visualization but you can do this with individuals or dear ones you know and later slowly 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 expand this okay okay so right after that then you always do dedication because that's that's a very very powerful practice and don't destroy it without you know dedication you must dedicate this okay Right. Yeah, the next cargo. So we'll talk a little bit about karma today, I think. Uh, so is karma here? Uh, yes. Law of cause meditation. Uh, law of cause This is on the seventh week, Rudwa. Thank you, Mr. Dichet. Karsa Matude. Yeah, Jingwa. You see me, right? Yeah. I can see you. Okay. The karma say there, but the, the word karma, mm -hmm. the le say there, the karma, it actually means, le means action. Okay, le, which means action. Mm -hmm. So any physical, verbal, mental action. Okay, whatever you do with your physical body, whatever you do with your verbal action, whatever you do with your mind, it accumulates karma. Mm -hmm. So now karma means action very simple. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so knowing this, it can be divided into positive karma or negative karma. Mm -hmm. Positive karma or negative karma? You can say, uh, sonam gile, virtuous. Sonam mahimbe non virtuous. 
then there is what we call neo-ele, unwavering karma. So unwavering karma can be amassed, accumulated only through uh, samadhi, meditation, shamatha. Only after shamatha, and then you can actually accumulate this karma. Neo-ele, so the way to be born in the, uh, the we are in the desire realm. They come to come to may come. So if you really want to be born in form, the form realm, the formless realm, the only way is to accumulating a karma called unwavering karma. Okay, unwavering karma, and that can be done only through meditation. Otherwise, it's not possible. So we're talking about samsara, continued. You know, in samsara, the three realms, desire, uh, form, formless. So in form, there are four levels. Uh, concentr first, concentr second, third, fourth. So like this, first has three realms, second has three realms, third has three realms, that nine. The fourth has eight realms, so total there are 17 realms in the form, form realm. In formless, there are four. So, in desire, we desire realm, we have uh, hell, then nyawache, hungry ghost, animal, human, then we have uh, damning gods and gods also as well. Right. <clears throat> so to be, to accumulate karma, you know, then we will born in this cycle, okay? So if you do good, virtuous actions, then you will be born either in a god, then in god, amen. Then bad actions, animal, then hungry ghost, and hell. So this is general idea. Now karma has four, four kind of, a, should I say, aspects, okay? Uh, karma is certain. That means if you do good, good karma, you will experience good result. If you do bad karma, you will have to experience you know, suffering, okay? So good karma, happiness, bad karma, suffering. So doing good, it will not you will not suffer. So karma is certain. They never love. Then uh, uh, whatever action you do, it will never be wasted. So that means you have to experience. Okay? Whatever action you do, you have to experience. It never got wasted. This is the second aspect of karma. So if you will not face result if you do not commit the karma, if you do not do the you know the action. So you will not have happiness if you don't uh, do good karma. So you will not suffer if you do not do bad karma. Okay. The last one is the lepel chewala. So it multiplies. Whatever action you do, multiplies. Okay, like uh, like if you put one seed, there are many 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 fruits, right? Okay, one small uh, millet can produce one one thousand results like that. So okay. these are four aspects of karma. Le nieva, le macheva, le mecheva, le cheva chunisa, le pelchosna. So this, you should know this, qualities of, not called aspects of karma. That did it. So one way, you know, as a, as a, in Tibetan tradition, you see, when we suffer, we don't blame others, you know, we blame ourselves, oh, it's the result of what I have committed in my past life. See the karma that have accumulated in my past life. Now this is the result. So you don't. 
if you if you know how to think, then you say, "Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm able to you know, now. I'm able to uh, experience the bad karma that I've accumulated in the past." You know? So through experience, it purifies. You know? So that's a positive way of thinking instead of complaining. Okay. It's interesting, isn't it? We Tibetans and say, oh, this is my karma, you know, we accept this. Oh, this is my karma. Even the little everyday things? Like yeah, it's all your karma. The, ca the cable man doesn't show up, that's part of your karma. All, it doesn't matter. Thought too, even if you don't all. take it. All, all. You have thought because you have a physical body. This physical body, you know, has a physical, uh, we have a, again a mind related to the brain, or related to this physical body, you know, which is basically related to the brain. So all this because you're born as a human, because you have a past karma. If you, have, if you are born as a mosquito, then there's no such thing as cable, cable man for mosquitoes. <laughs> so you see, in other words, everything is karma. Mm -hmm. Everything, the whole, actually the whole solar system is, uh, is the, the, the common karma for living in the solar system. No, even the but that is too much, you know, too Chinese. much. Oh, I shouldn't talk now. Yeah, it's too much. So what do you, but you can change. So the only good quality uh, karma has is it can be purified. That is purification. So we have so many methods instead of experience yeah mm -hmm. karma we can actually purify it so that's why we have many many methods purification mm. because we have intelligence mm -hmm. what's that yep so then uh, you learn about how to purify and also one way of, because one way, one aspect of karma is multiplies, you know. Negative karma is especially, they multiply a lot. Mm. Because there's so many conditions. So this one way is you recite Ikya, 100 syllable, 21 times a day. So that will actually stop you from, uh, stop your negative karma to multiply. So, Ikyan is 100 syllable. And there are many, many prostration is one. There are many, many, many ways of uh, purifying your karma. Okay. Gila, can you just um, say the four aspects of karma in Tibetan? I'm just writing it down. Le mm Nyeba. -hmm. So, Le Nyeba. Le Cheba. Shu Misala. Tola Duma Relare. ले Okay, yeah. any questions? So if, I, if a bad thought starts to seep in, you know, just a little one, being a little angry, can, if I just stop it in its path and purify it? That. You see, that's why you see, if you follow your thought, mm -hmm. then you are not in control. 
you are carried by the river of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like anger, attachment, jealousy. This is it's a current. It's a continuous continu continuity is there. So the, the river of emotions, the river of anger, river of attachment. River of anger is quite short, maybe one one day. The river of attachment can be like one year, you know. <laughs> and uh, when you're carried by the current of river, then you're not free. We give example like when you're inside the river and carried by the river, real river, then you even do not see the water. So if you really want to free from the, the river itself, you must stay away from the river. So in the mental, in the thought, what you can do is watch. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the anger comes, watch. Where's the anger? Because when the anger comes, image comes. You cannot watch the anger, but you can watch the image of the anger. That makes sense to me. I, I the image is that you are angry with something. If you are angry with your iPhone, then uh, you know iPhone appears, and then you watch that image. Where is that image? And then, as soon as the you watch the image, you see the two experiences we we talked last time. Mm -hmm. Either it disappears, or you can watch it like watching a television. You know, two image, two experiences possible. Both are good. You know? So when it happens, see, no more anger. Mm -hmm. So you see, now you're watching, you, you're free from the river. Now you're watching, you're watching the river. When the river is calm, it's fine when you're inside. When the river is really murky, you know, muddy and strong current and you know deep clips and then you will fall and you may die so that's why you know in order to free us from the real river you stay away run away from the river and watch exactly the same when you have the mental river of emotions watch mm. after all we all want happiness loving kindness and compassion we learned in an earlier lesson. Now, so, important thing is study. You must study. Study, study, study. Every day you should study, you know, to deep, to deep, deep to, how to say, to uh, deepen your knowledge. Mm -hmm. you know, so that you become wiser, wiser. Mm -hmm. Then you can deal with this kind of negative emotions quite easily and then study and practice, uh, study and practice. And you can handle all this quite uh, easily through practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yela, I guess I have a, just a general question or like, okay. a, um, you know, like, um, some, some, like sometimes you have these like negative thoughts and emotions. And so, um, when sometimes, you have, what? sometimes you have like negative thoughts and emotions, right. That comes, mm -hmm. comes in your head. And mm -hmm. so sometimes like my past mentors have suggested, Oh, you should write a journal or think about like, um, which body parts, do you feel the most tension and it's do fine do meditation around that but i wasn't sure what your thoughts around it's fine that. this is another method but that's temporary that's what i'm saying yeah yeah it's temporary you know maybe it works for some maybe it doesn't mm, I see. yeah and uh, what your mentor told you did you do it so far and what was the effect you must find it yourself Say that, say that one more time. I didn't hear you. Your teachers told you, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. how to handle this, you know. Mm -hmm. So did you try this? Yeah, I tried it. I tried the and whole journal thing and it did not work for me. 
Yeah, so, so it, yeah. it doesn't matter. Now you try the new method, watch. Right. 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 We learned so many meditation techniques, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, see the effect. If you don't do, if you just learn in your head, it will, it, it will not help you. Mm -hmm. Practice it every day, practice mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Must give time to meditation. Right. You know, learn to sit. You know, no internet, no boyfriend, nobody. Just in your room. You know? Just mm -hmm. fresh air, a little bit, and calm. Keep yourself space. Right. In America, everybody is looking for space. The best space, the biggest space, is sit. Mm -hmm. And then you will find space. So when you find the inner space, even if you are in a big crowd, mm -hmm. you find space. Mm -hmm. You're always calm, relaxed, you know, and you don't, you know, are not angry, you see, or annoyed by this, you know, the outside world. Mm -hmm. Because you already find, you already found space with it. Right. So, in order to find space within, you must learn to sit. Okay. Okay. Great practitioners in the past, they say your body should be on a cushion mm -hmm. and your mind should be in the body. Got it. Very simple. Meditation means the body is on a cushion. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and your mind is inside the body. Mm -hmm. Or another one is Kachila Tena Kachila Tena Tena So how should I translate this? Mm -hmm. If you look outward Mm -hmm. Outside, you see the samsara, but if you look within, mm -hmm. is the enlightenment. Oh, okay. Very simple, you know. Just sit, find space within, mm -hmm. and then you will find nyangde. At least, if not nyangde, you know, <laughs> nyangde means uh, free, free from suffering. Oh. Nyang nyang means suffering. They means go beyond. Uh -huh. So go beyond suffering. So mm -hmm. that is how you look within. How mm. Yeah. Any questions? What is mm. the Kela the night you are the I have a question on the visualization. Ki like the uh Tangi Kela the visualization Sungamba. Like if you have a deity or if you have a god or someone, you can just visualize them. Um, what lameda? Me... What lameda? No deity. <laughs> Yidam. Yidam. Okay. Yidam. Ngazi di make some Like close your eyes and meditate and visualize. Close your eyes okay. and meditate. As a beginner, you should, you know. So kena chasha na susu di duina kena tanga tan jawre muciye yawa chae. Ani. Like, for example, you have been seeing your kitchen and the refrigerator many, many, many times, you know. So mm -hmm. when you, even if you close your eyes, you know, it appears, the image appears. Because you are seeing it so many times. So likewise, when you watch, you know, a deity, and there are many ways of, again, uh, you know, seeing the deity, you know. But if you look at the deity, photo or stage or tanga, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you look at every day, you know, mm -hmm. many times a day, then even if you close your eyes, it appears. 
but like I don't know what I observed because the I've been doing the visualization gajmila single point uh, meditation and it's like shargi dura there's one moment where but then it's like fuzzy do it doesn't matter no it doesn't matter okay. it's okay even for one second very good mm-hmm. two seconds three seconds fine you know but is it because like uh Karsa, Nanzuki, when we're doing the single point meditation Nanzuki, uh, like we're focusing too hard on getting a very clear image and focus pay focus does it disturb no? we learned uh, how to use sight you know and uh, all the things that as an object for meditation like we learn breathing breathing we learn sound we taste mm. smell sight so i told you what kind of uh, object should be there you know we learned this mm-hmm. you can use you know candle flame you know or small uh, piece of uh, stone pebble mm-hmm. you know, or image of your guru or deity it should be first small very small you know like stage you like this mm-hmm. you know more small it's easier Mm. So through practice, then you can have big one is fine. So mm. sight. So, so again, you see, when you do not lose the awareness, any object is fine. So mm. all the phenomena in the world, it can be used as an object of meditation. Physical or, you know, even mental thought, any thought. All positive uh, attitudes, mm-hmm. emotions, negative emotions, you know, all can be used as an object of meditation. Mm. You do not lose the awareness. If you lose the awareness, then losing awareness means distract. When you are distracted, you are not being aware. Distract. So what is the uh, nature of meditation? Awareness. What is awareness? Knowing, recognizing. So that means you are aware of the object. So that means you are not distracted. So when you're distracted, there's no awareness. Okay? When you're distracted, there's no awareness. So this, you see, these two are completely opposite. When you are aware, there's no distraction. When you lose the awareness, you're distracted. So we're trying to maintain the awareness. That's why you practice short times, many times. Because as a beginner, as a beginner, it's very difficult to maintain the awareness for a long period of time. So you practice like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute, but do it many, many times. Any object is fine. You know. What's that? So through this training, only through training, you can uh, prolong the awareness. So when you have awareness, that means you are always in present, present moment. Then again, we learn about no, no, no object, no object meditation, right? So uh, single point in meditation without object, we learn also. So if you forget, you listen to the. Uh, the recordings so then we learn about analytical meditation analytical meditation best is to open your eyes you know do not close i had a question about analytical and um we say i we say um i wish i wish to be happy i wish to not suffer do I go into more detail than that or just repeat those words? No, repeat. You just use logics, intelligence. So other... You, other you always wanted to be happy, right? Yeah. Yeah? So this, you see, that is... You always wanted to be happy. You always wanted to be free from suffering. So these two, compassion and uh, loving kindness, they actually go together. You know, 
And so this you extend to others, you know, more and more. That's why I say, Rangi, you look down on a shin and never magician. So taking your body as an example, do not hurt others. Am I visualizing anything or just the that thought I'm analyzing? First, no visualization, you see. Why? Why should I think about others? Because, you see, you are only one individual and others limitless. So if you weigh, in, you know, use the logic, weigh, who is more important? Who is more weighty? Well, everyone together. Yes. So, but all others, same as you, wanting happiness, do not want suffering. Mm -hmm. okay? So then it says, all happiness come from cherishing others. All the sufferings come from cherishing yourself. So if you really want to be happy, His Holiness says like that, if you really want to be happy, help others. If you really want to be selfish, he said, be why, why selfish? So why selfish is helping others. If you want fame, help others. If you want to be rich, help others. You know? Because every positive quality that you're going to have is through helping others, through, through benefiting others. See, joy, if you do it by yourself all the time, for myself, myself, prayers, meditation, whatever you do, if you do it yourself, you are not actually, it makes you suffer. Your self-cherishing attitude is one of the main causes of suffering. So you see, now, that's why you should study. I said study. <laughs> Studying is very, very, very important. Read books by His Holiness Dalai Lama. There are hundreds of them. You know? And listen to his teachings on YouTube. All many great, you know, wise people, realized masters, note down and think. You know? When you have a kind of a conviction in something, and then put this into practice and see. see. Am I making sense? Um, I'm not a hundred percent. I hear some. I a hundred percent sure. I hear. I if I listen to the Dalai Lama and then say he says something that matters to me, and then I would. Yeah, that's why you know when he says something. You must find why he says something and so study more, more deep. Thought process. It's, it's a thought process. I'm not just yes. looking at a word. Thought process, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you see, wisdom or insight, there are three types. One, shirap, shirap sesum. One, through listening. So you have some insight or wisdom, okay? Mm -hmm. Or through reading, okay? This is called the wisdom or insight that comes through hearing or reading. And next, wisdom or insight through uh, contemplation. Okay, so you, whatever is said, you contemplate, you think through logics. Then when you have a conviction, when there is no contradiction, you know, logically, then you see, you have a, a wisdom through contemplation. Now that is much more deeper than the listening. And then put that into meditation, practice. So through practice of meditation, then you have 
another wisdom that is called gumjungi shirap. So tujungi shirap, samjungi shirap, gumjungi shirap. So that gumjungi shirap, then you see, so, <laughs> which is the highest knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do, okay. If you do not agree, you debate. <laughs> well, there was a statement yeah. that you said earlier about self-cherishing is the most cause of suffering. Mm. Do, do you mean self-cherishing? Like, is that like, how would you define it? Like, you say that, like, it's la? Rang jin jin. Rang, okay, is that different than self-love? And like, thinking about what your goals that are? Self-love is fine, you know. Achieve? Cherishing means yeah. yeah, but I feel like we live in a society where you, That's why you, see, you have to go are... for what you what you need to accomplish, no? That's why we suffer. And then, okay. We, I, I usually say we are in a system. Mm -hmm. So when you are inside the system, mm -hmm. okay, and then you cannot be free from the system. So usually I give this example. In France, in Europe, there is the famous train called TGV. Mm -hmm. It's a very fast train, TGV. Oh yeah, TGV. TGV, because TGV. 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 Let me look it up. French TGV. So when you're inside the train, mm -hmm. what happens is, for example, from Paris to in South Province, you see there's only one stop. And it take you in two, three hours. So once you're inside, you have no control. Okay? But I usually say I prefer Indian train. Because in every boogie there is a red chain you can pull anytime you want. Ah, oh, okay. So that means you are in control over your life. But here you see no control. You're in a system, mm -hmm. everybody working so hard for your house rent, room rent. Mm -hmm. First, you know, room rent. Mm -hmm. You're paying a lot of money to the room. Right. And for food. Okay. You see? And you're working so hard, so hard and you forget yourself. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the paradox is, you see, you work so hard, so hard, so hard. And then you're sick. And then again, you pay all the money that you earned to the doctor. Uh -huh. And at the end, you have nothing. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, you must control yourself. You know. Even if you are in this kind of society, you see, you must learn to be happy. What I usually say is happiness is not the goal alone. Mm -hmm. Happiness is also the way. Mm. So the American dream is to have a house, right. car, and for you, husband, you know, then what? Good food. So you're looking for that, you know, happiness, happiness over there, you know, maybe up to 10 years, 20 years. You see. And then you work so hard, mm -hmm. you're not happy. But when you have a house, mm -hmm. car, or husband, still you see the problem is the same. Mm -hmm. Where, if you're an artist, spending a great deal of time alone, Creating art. Is that self-cherishing? No, self-cherishing means, you know, when you cherish yourself all the time and forgetting about others. Well, when actually oh. hard work, my mind yeah. is blank. I don't think of myself. I don't think of anything. Rang chenzi means, in other words, selfish. Mm. You always, you see, you are number one. You just belittle everything. Mm -hmm. And you always 
you, me, 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 I, me, I, me, I, me. You see, mm -hmm. so there's a research. Those who are using I, me, I, me all the time, they suffer more than others. Uh -huh. Who saying less I, less me. There's a research you can uh, check on Google. Okay. So you see, think about others. You know, at least in your prayers. Yes. Mm. At least when you're practicing, I'm doing this practice for the sake of others, all sentient beings, you know. Mm -hmm. And for this earth, you know, for healing the earth, the earth is suffering. Mm -hmm. Global warming, you see, look right. at what happened to Australia. Now, possibly Australians, you know, they, they will be a climate refugees, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And now in America, look at California, you see and look at Florida, see. So, so whenever, oh, we have water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so many water, some there's scarcity of water, some a lot of water, floods, you know, tsunami, mm -hmm. then Karsadi, Typhoon Regret, this Typhoon Regret, all this, Munmar, see, Perfect. fire problem, mm -hmm. then landslides everywhere, Earthqu earthquakes, you know, all this, you see, the earth is actually suffering. Mm -hmm. So all these natural disasters, we have no control, but many of them actually human made. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you practice, you practice for the sake of others, at least in your, in your prayers. So when you do this every day, Mm -hmm. In the morning, you know, when you do the practice, mm -hmm. go for refuge, then do the actual practice and dedication. You say, okay, from today, from right now, I'm not going to hurt anybody physically mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, verbally, and I'm not going to have any ill will to do ill will to anybody. So that's yeah. mental. Mm -hmm. You're smiling, but you you may have an ill will, you know. So you mm -hmm. always pray like that. You go outside. Mm -hmm. You see this what you call setting the motivation in the morning. This will actually you see when you sometimes you know uh, face this kind of problems. You will remember what you promise in the morning. You will be a better person. Mm -hmm. You see. So every morning you must, every morning you must set your motivation to benefit others. So in the daytime, many, many problems, challenges, but you see you're still calm because you have set motivation not to hurt anybody in the morning. And when you come back, you're much calmer. And then you try to think, you know, what did I do? Good things. You, you feel uh, joy and dedicate that. And when you did something wrong, okay, tomorrow I'm not going to do this. If you did something wrong, maybe send a message, I'm sorry. You know? Like this, you see, you try to change yourself first. And everybody will love you. And maybe they, they will feel jealous of you. That means when somebody is jealous of you, that means you're better than others. See, so you know, continue to spread happiness. Every encounter, see, mm -hmm. do your best. Um, so when you, when you say control yourself, like, are you just thinking of all the happy moments or something? Or like ways no, no, to no. benefit? Control, I... control yourself, Lana. For mm -hmm. example, you go to work, right? Right. And then you have challenges. Mm -hmm. You may get angry, right? Right. Okay. Or you may get attached to something, or you may feel jealous. Mm -hmm. you know? Whatever it is, we learn how to look, how to look at the emotions. Right. Huh? When you get right. angry, learn that. Know that you are angry. Mm -hmm. Then also learn the uh, disadvantages of anger. So you have to study all this. Mm -hmm. And having anger is like holding a molten ball of, a 
ball of mold, uh, a molten ball in your hand, who suffers? You suffer. What is it's it? It's a higher ball, you know. When you're angry, you suffer, not the other person. You mm -hmm. suffer emotionally right. and physically, and you you will live less. Mm -hmm. So you know, knowing this, you see, when anger comes, there's a prayer, like. Stand up, don't and don't wash your It's in the eight line, eight, eight voices mind training. So read that. So mm -hmm. whenever you have a negative emotion, mm -hmm. as soon as it arises, mm -hmm. you try to recognize it. Mm -hmm. So when you recognize it, mm -hmm. good. If you cannot recognize it, at least watch the image. Mm -hmm. And least don't let don't follow that thought. Okay. Okay, three. Recognize it. Okay, I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, then when you're angry, see, the image comes, watch the image. But at least don't let it, uh, let it, don't follow that thought. When you follow mm -hmm. that thought, you're inside the river. So mm -hmm. all challenges, you know, mm -hmm. 